Hi folks, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. So recently, as people have begun to deploy and build a lot of AI agents, the engineering discipline underlying it has solidified around this name of context engineering. And this paper we're looking at talks about one cutting edge way to do that. Now, I don't want to get into what context engineering is exactly, but one really great resource on context engineering is actually this Latent Space podcast episode with Lance Martin from Langchain. And this is a great meta resource on context engineering, especially all these articles and videos in the description of this podcast. So I'll link that down in the description. Highly recommended. But coming back to this paper, the authors here are looking at the problem of how to best maintain context when implementing multi-step long-running agents that solve complex problems. Context engineering is popular because you don't want to modify the weights of a model. You want to use these frontier models the way they are trained and post-trained and then bring your domain-specific knowledge as in-context learning, basically as the prompt, all the context in the context window. And this lets you define your product much faster. It's understandable by humans. And if you write your prompts and shape your context the right way, it can even be easily portable across multiple models. And by now, there are some fairly well-known ways to do this. There's React chain of thought, of course, that's kind of the most prevalent meta model, kind of meta method way of doing context engineering. But within that one very common way of improving your context across the iterations that an agent goes through is reflection, where you look at the path an agent has taken so far. So your entire trace, the context up until now, and you reflect on what went wrong in that context to improve it for the next iteration. And there's several variations on that theme. There are two main problems with these current methods that the authors are pointing out that they want to solve in this paper. The first one is what they call brevity bias, which means that these LLMs, as they look at the context and make iterations in an agent, they have a strong tendency to shorten and summarize these prompts. And what happens when you do these iteratively is that you end up with very short, very generic prompts and lose all the domain-specific details and notes of important failure modes and how to solve them that you might have noticed during previous iterations. And this leads to a related problem, which is context collapse. Because of this tendency towards creating shorter summaries, you end up losing all this detail. You end up losing a lot of information. And that ultimately shows up in much lower task accuracy. The way the authors are proposing solving this issue, the central idea of the paper, is that you should not be summarizing these contexts into shorter and shorter summaries, but you should be maintaining what they call playbooks, detailed playbooks that are comprehensive. They cover everything required to solve the task at hand, and they are very domain specific and as they say over here rich with domain insights and these playbooks get built up and curated and refined as the agent iteratively executes this is the overall agentic context engineering architecture being proposed in this paper so the input is not just the query, but also a playbook that you've built over time. This input, the user's query and the playbook go into the first stage, which is what they're calling a generator. This is 
what traditionally you would think of as the core of your agent. This is the part that is reasoning and planning. And so it is coming up with a strategy for solving the user's query. The second part is a reflection step which critiques this proposed strategy. So it has a trace of this first step of the agent's execution. And this critique leads to some insights or corrections. And so far, this looks very similar to a plan, reason, execute, and then reflect kind of a pattern that is common in the architecture of AI agents. But this next step is, I think, what makes the difference here, which is the curator. The curator is taking the lessons or corrections or insights that the reflector points out and then making incremental delta updates into this context playbook. It's merging it into the existing playbook. And so a crucial part of this entire architecture is this playbook, which is kind of like externalized memory. And as you see more queries, as you see more trajectories and you get more insights and corrections, you keep building up this playbook. And this is the self-improving part of what they're saying in the title over here. The idea is that over time, this playbook will accumulate a lot of domain-specific wisdom about the kinds of queries it's getting. And very importantly, the playbook doesn't just grow unboundedly. They have what they call a grow and refine approach where this playbook is refined and deduplicated over time. The entries in the playbook are simply bullet points, but each one of them has a unique identifier. It looks something like this. There's an identifier and there's some detail about how to perform some task or some step. All right, so getting to benchmarks and results, they tried this on AppWorld, which is a bunch of autonomous agent tasks, involves lots of API code writing, and then a much more domain-specific benchmark for financial analysis. And this involves a bunch of financial reasoning tasks. And as they show over here, this leads to some pretty dramatic gains on both AppWorld and this financial tasks benchmark. A distant second in most of these is DC, which stands for Dynamic Cheat Sheet, which is kind of a similar approach, but doesn't have as structured of a playbook idea. All right, they have prompts in the appendix. We've got to look at the prompts. First off, here is the generator prompt for the app world benchmark. And a lot of it is kind of generic. It's not very different from the prompt that comes with the benchmark itself. But the part that's specific to ACE, this agentic context engineering framework, is this part. You are provided with a curated cheat sheet of strategies. You have a playbook. Read the playbook first, then execute the task by leveraging each relevant section. And then the playbook is given in here. So this is the generator prompt, the first step in the process. And then the next step is the reflection step. So here's the reflector prompt. Your job is to diagnose the current trajectory, identify what went wrong or could be better, and you're given the ground truth, so the trace up until now, and you're given the playbook. And the output, there's a few examples of what the output looks like. The output should have a reasoning for what went wrong, what exactly the error was, So this JSON structure, reasoning, error, identification, root cause analysis, what the correct approach should have been, and then the key insight. And then finally, here's the third one, the curator prompt. So the input to the curator is the output of this previous reflection step. And 
Here it says, your job is to identify what new insights should be added to an existing playbook based on reflection from a previous attempt. So this is the step that goes and adds steps to the playbook. And its output is pretty structured. So you explicitly call out whether you're adding, which section you're adding to, and the bullet point that you're adding to the playbook. By the way, I do want to add that with things like Claude Code and Codex, where they have this notion of custom slash commands and sub agents and so on, there have been some attempts out there that do something similar. Maybe not in as structured of a manner, but this notion of writing out workflows and memories to markdown files and then having Claude Code reuse them for future executions and also having Claude Code reflect on trajectories and add to these memory markdown files. People have been trying that out. I've been trying out something similar with my own local Claude Code setup. I covered that in a different video. I'll leave a link below. But there have been some attempts that are kind of converging on this meta structure of agents building up playbooks and memories for themselves to utilize for future runs. All right, so that was a quick look at agentic context engineering where the authors talk about how to use self-refining, self-improving playbooks for agents and get much better accuracy than before. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like content like this, please consider subscribing, like the video, and I will see you next time. Thank you.